our trip to Wales in May 2023. Our last trip to Wales was in 2016. I honestly don't know what's the matter with us, but somehow we'd forgotten how beautiful the countryside is here. We were just driving along going, wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What do you reckon? What do you reckon the whales? Hey? You see the sheep? Can you see the sheep? Look. That's the one that just had an ear miss with the motorbike. Not in front of the car. Oh my lord. Bloody kamikaze shit. <laughs> well, don't look at us. You're the one who went out of the road, crazy sheep. The top of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? The weather this morning has allowed us to have a much needed chill out with plenty of reading and cribbage, crochet. Also, Hubby managed to teach the dog how to climb over one of the uh, stone stiles ready for their walks, enjoy some lovely beach views. Later in the day we wandered into Harlick, had a little look around there before heading back to our local beach for the dog's uh, last walk of the day. The sun is back today, it's my birthday. I have to say I'm quite obsessed about sitting in this conservatory, watching the world go by, it's amazing. There was cake, of course, but not before we'd adventured our way round the Lynn Peninsula.
Well, that was a very busy day. We look like a right couple of old codgers here. Even the dog thinks we're mad and she's going to lay down. But we really did enjoy this view from the conservatory. It's amazing. We headed out, stopped at Harlick for a coffee and something to nibble, and then meandered our way through all of that wonderful scenery once again so that we could get to Zip World for Fluff's exciting adventure. This zip wire is uh, about a mile long and you travel at speeds of 100 miles an hour. I did this zip wire back in 2016. It was a bit of a struggle for me with my MS but it was absolutely amazing. Once you've arrived and got checked in you go off and get all your gear on. And then you set off to do the little zip wire to make sure that you are okay with it before going right to the top of the uh, quarry to do the larger zip wire. Here he goes. Perhaps he won't take him. Travelling back to a holiday cottage, admiring the views again. We stopped off at a little lake and just took in all the views, the sceneries, the sun. It was absolutely amazing. Finally back to our little local beach for the sunset and to enjoy the views. <laughs> Lady Babble in Darth, the new power jet. We had a nice early morning trip to Harlick Beach. We then returned here to have another look around. I found these circular stones in the middle of a housing estate, which is quite unexpected. Got a bit lost. <laughs> well done. Carries on down that way. We eventually found the harbour, which is actually really lovely. I also managed to put my new power chair Dar through his paces over some off-road areas and uh, also getting close the dog used to it because she's used to my mobility scooter so this is quite different for her <laughs> we found these wonderfully painted stones that are all cemented in the wall they're absolutely lovely
day seven on our last day here in Wales. It's a bit chilly as you can see. We went back to Barmouth and just had a bit of a chill day really, wandering around, soaking in the sun and the sea, before going back and packing ready for our journey home. It's quite hard to believe that those days have gone so fast and we've got to leave this place so soon. But hopefully we'll be back again one day, fingers crossed.